all right guys welcome back now what are we going to do uh, in this part of the video it's simple see in the previous tutorial we kind of learned how to install um, what do you call that uh, ubuntu operating system on top of windows operating system that's what we have done right so uh, we have this oh this is not a good wallpaper let me try to get something that's on a whiteboard okay yeah maybe this is good <clears throat> so here 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 it is okay what what we try to do it we kind of installed this is windows operating system which we already had on top of that with the help of powershell we installed ubuntu yeah now in now in this video we are going to see how to install java here java jdk now please remember this those who have just ubuntu itself as an operating system just ubuntu not windows even the installation what i'm going to teach is equivalent to the one that i'm going to teach here and here as well obviously i'm going to teach here but even it is applicable even for here as well remember this okay so um let me try to let me to clear this out and uh, start and i'm going to open ubuntu there you go that's it ubuntu has kicked off and you know where it is it's right over here yeah so this ubuntu do you let me view it as list okay this is where you where you are okay there you go pwd okay the first thing is that first thing which the moment once you have logged in what i want you to do is that execute this particular command um, yeah sudo apt update no matter what okay sudo apt update obviously provide the password admin123 this is what i had given and whatever update is there it will pick it up okay it will update whatever packages that you have okay so as you can see 13 packages have been upgraded which is awesome now make sure that this is executed at any cost without fail now once that's done what i want to do is that just let me clear out um i'll say java minus minus version java minus version see java not found that's okay which is exactly what we want java is not found and since it's not found the ubuntu itself is giving certain commands see this this commands it is saying that please install all of this not all of this i'm just joking please install any one of them that is what it is trying to tell okay and obviously we are uh, too much technical guys right so we don't want this we want something bigger and how do we do that so let's do one thing this is what we are, what we are going to do we are going to first log into oracle okay sorry first we are going to log into oracle website then download jdk download jdk okay download jdk and then install in the ubuntu where are you ubuntu there you go we are going to install in this ubuntu okay this is what what we are going to do so how do we do that first let's open the browser okay now we are going to say download java jdk that's it click or i'll say the latest version 17 okay i want to go not 17 is not the latest version obviously the i think it's uh, the new version i believe it's uh, okay 20 you have see you have 17 as one standard edition now it's 20 see one of the best thumb rule that what i have learned is that um uh, just give me a moment yeah sorry uh, got deviated so one of the best thumb rule is that what i've learned in, in so far in my career is that if you have any new version say x okay oops sorry x is a new version always work on a software which is either x minus 1 or x minus 2 that's always see preferable one please remember this now this gets released to the market and obviously if this gets released to the market obviously lot of lot of people will be testing on it and it is eventually it is expected to have certain bug so this is a stable version and this would be like a super stable version this is stable this is super stable so if it is x is 20 this then 19 or 18 is a better one 
okay co compared to what kind of features that we are working on since we obviously are working on a very limited features i think 18 19 17 any one of them should do good okay so keeping that in mind i'm going to download the 17 version and here uh, let me scroll down and check for yeah this guy oops sorry this guy debian package click on this okay and it's getting downloaded uh, it will be done in a moment okay it's done uh, pretty super uh, speed internet you know so let's go to the download and here okay it's I already downloaded is it okay cool anyways um, let me delete this and then let me take this control C and in the next tab click on Linux Ubuntu uh, home integration anarchy and here uh, I'll paste it yeah I'll paste it and here I'll go back to this guy and if I can show you ls minus lrt you can see this okay, this guy and here yeah so I'm going to create one folder uh, here itself mkdir java and I'm going to give permission chmod 775 java now I'm going to refresh over here see java has been created now I'm going to take this move it yeah that's fine now I'm going to see ls minus lrt now the files have been moved so this is how this is a beauty that's what I said you have windows and on top of that you have unix ah, two sexy combination it's always good see yeah now that's done once that's done the next step is that let me clear this out execute the command sudo dpkg minus interactive and java that's it that's it see it's unpacking it let it unpack should take a while anytime soon done okay so ls minus lrt which is cool so it has been unpacked setting up jdk now once that's done uh, if i list the command list slash no before list okay let me clear out so what have we done so far simple step one we navigated to oracle step two we downloaded the software step three you kind of moved copied that package to the linux environment here step four we ex uh, we ran this particular command sudo dpk d pkg minus i and then java has been set up interactive not set up it has been extracted now then you can go to cd slash user lib and here you should have jvm see this jvm cd jvm java virtual machine ls minus lrt and there you go you have jdk 17 that's it okay now with that that done what i wanted to do is that execute a command called as sudo update update minus alternatives okay before that let me get the path pwd this is the path okay so i'm going to say sudo update minus alternatives alternatives okay uh, not like this sudo update alternatives minus minus install okay then user bin java and then again space java then um, user user lib lib slash jvm and then uh, this path this jdk 17 yeah copy copy this slash bin and then java 1 that's it um, yeah update alternative using this to provide is in auto mode this is cool yeah this is done and once that's done what i want to do is that 
use the same command okay use the same command and then change it to um, change it to java cr one you have created java and the other one that you are saying use the compiler that's all it is okay mm, here error is already managed by java that's cool if it is already managed by java then that's okay um, so let me see if I've done any mistake here. Oh yeah, I think I'm sorry, I've done a mistake here. Here I forgot to add C here. Yeah, that's it. See here, there are two paths. Remember this, user being Java and the other one is user lib JVM. See, I've used these two paths. And here we saw user lib JVM and the other one is, let's say, user bin Java. Okay, bin, oh, sorry. CD bin oops slash CD USR bin I hope you should have it yeah Java not Java maybe we have uh, see Java there you go if you can see if it was a directory you would have got a D over here this is not a directory see this is just a linkage you're trying to link yeah once that's done uh, let's go to the home path okay you don't need to go to home path but that's okay then now Java minus version there you go it has been set up properly now once that's done what I want you to do is that sudo update update minus alternative alternatives uh, alternatives minus minus config java yeah sorry uh, there is only one alternative in the link that's okay nothing to configure it okay if there are multiple java if there are multiple java assume that this is right now we have only installed one java assume that if you have more than two java versions which we are going to see in our next video assume that you have multiple java then what then this sudo update alternative config java this will help you to configure multiple javas as of now, I executed this command to show you that since there is only one Java, there is it's it's it, it is clearly saying that see there is only one alternative in the linker group. See, if there are multiple, then obviously you need to tell which one to configure. Do you guys agree? You need to tell which one that you need to configure. Since it was only one available, and obviously it just pointed saying that. It is already available here nothing to configure okay so with that being said the next step is that uh, let's say sudo sudo vi slash etc yeah this is all a headache i know that environment see here you need to set the java path and how do you do that it's same as your windows machine here you're going to set um, java underscore capital java underscore home home equal to in double quote uh, forgot the path of it uh, let me get the path of it ubuntu i forgot the path of it uh, cd slash user bin I guess here is slash user bin or else to get the path to get the path it's quite simple um, all you have to do is that ls slash user slash bin slash java so not not sorry not bin java user lib jvm okay it's jdk 17 um that's let's go to this path cd this slash jdk that's it do you have a bin here which is there we will only take till this path that's it pwt pwt take this path take this path copy go back here and paste it yeah paste it that's all you have to do yeah let's paste it and once you have done escape 
semicolon escape semicolon wq right and quit right and quit yeah so it the value has been set up and then you need to reload it how do you reload it just like how to refresh it you use the command source source slash etc slash then we run it that's it it has been rolled reloaded now if i say echo dollar java underscore home see you have got it yeah that's how it's done now the path has been set java has been installed the libraries has been set up which is all awesome okay with that being said what we are going to do in the next video in the next video we are going to look at how what happens if you install two or three javas at the same time how do you switch it because that is important uh, uh, further going on in if you are if you are writing any programming that requires jdk 17 or jdk 11 jdk 12 you don't know right so there might be few programs which require certain java settings uh, specific to certain versions and this next video will help you to jot down with that okay with that being said i'm going to, i'm going to close this video and see you soon in the next video then take care and have a great learning see ya